Hey, what's going on everyone? And welcome to the video. I think you guys are gonna like this one. Today, we're gonna talk about this great little drone. It's very affordable, great for starters, great for anyone who wants to learn about drones, and I was really surprised with how it flew outside. So today I'm gonna talk to you guys about the Tello drone. This is a clip of it outside in pretty high wind, and you can see it just impressively holding position. Even when you try and push it out of the way, it does a pretty good job at moving right back, and it does this with a little camera on the bottom because this is just a Wi-Fi drone, and pretty impressive at that. It's fun to fly a drone that you won't really mind too much if something bad happens to it. You can be a little risky, fly it often. This is the Tello just flying around the park after rain. As you can see, it's pretty quick and nimble and does exceptionally well outside. Uh, this is, you know, medium to low wind, but it's also great for flying inside where you don't want to fly your large drones like your Mavic or your Inspire. And you can be pretty courageous with this thing. It doesn't weigh much, so it can take a crash pretty good. And it's very, very well built, as you can see. Extremely light, so it can't really hurt itself. I highly recommend this drone. It's fun to fly. It's a great drone to sit by the computer and fly. You know, maybe between projects or while you're waiting for something or on the phone. It's not too loud. Not a bad little drone for 150 bucks. That was pretty cool. And it can take a crash. Yeah, that's the Tello drone. Uh, if you're looking for a little indoor flyer, I think this is it. I don't know if it really gets much better for the price point. What's going on everyone? Nick Corona here. And today I got an awesome video for you guys. We are going to go over the Tello drone. This is a really cool really interesting little drone. A few fun things about it right off the bat is it's powered by DJI, so it's not actually DJI, but powered by, so internal components, and Intel inside, so that's kind of cool too. And there's some cool things we'll go over about this drone that are a little bit more techy, like you can fly it from the command prompt and things like that than other drones. But uh, first we gotta get flying, so I'm just going to kind of show you guys what goes into getting this thing in the air. So <clears throat> what we have here today is the boost combo. So the boost combo goes for about 150. I'll put a link below and that comes with two extra batteries for a total of three. And it has a little charger that charges them, you know, one at a time for you, but you can just put them all in there and come back and your batteries are all ready to go. So super good deal. Um, I always recommend getting more batteries because it's no fun to just fly and be done. So the cool thing I also like about this is this box <clears throat> is a very well built box which I can appreciate because I hate having to buy extra cases for everything. Um, so a cool thing about this, so a cool thing about this box is <clears throat> you can just keep it, you know, you can use it to store your drone in and there's really not much to it as you can see we've got the drone which weighs i mean nothing it is so light and then three batteries which i just jam in there because i don't remember how they came but it works for me and then we have our battery charger like i said three at a time and then android plug in the side you just stack your batteries in there you plug it in and it starts charging. The cool thing about this drone is there's not a lot of equipment since you fly it from your phone. There's no transmitter included, so it's really easy to throw in your pocket if you're going on a walk or something like that. Um, so first of all, before we even get to the range extender, which is super cool, 
Um, I just want to go through what it takes to even get going. So I'm just going to go to the App Store. Uh, let's screen record this for you guys. All right, I'm just going to type in Tello and bam comes up right away first app I'll take it we're gonna get that downloading awesome now in this video I'm gonna show you guys how to use the range extender which I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you right now I highly recommend it this little range extender here it just plugs into um, a battery you know you just plug it into a separate battery pack like this and it'll run for a very long time I don't know if this this one battery pack has lasted months now but this little extender it's just a USB and it can turn uh, you know 90 degrees it's ten dollars and it's a repeater so what this does is you plug it into the battery and then your phone can connect to this thing's Wi-Fi and then this repeats a stronger signal to the drone so that's we you're gonna see it's really great it's it's good um, but the reason I'm telling you that now is because there's a separate app we have to download for that unfortunately and it is this app right here me home so you're gonna go ahead and get that <clears throat> while that's downloading we will go ahead and drop on over to the Tello app. Tello would like to use Bluetooth. Okay, sure. And I believe that's, uh, it says gamepad. You can connect separate Bluetooth controllers to your phone and fly with that if you don't want to use the screen, which is another cool option. And a cool thing about this drone is there's a lot of different ways to fly it. Um, so, yep, I accept. Okay, I'll allow it. You want to access my photos? Okay. So it says right here how to connect. Press the power button on the side to start the aircraft. So let's take one of these batteries and put it in first. I think it goes this way. Um, so. Okay, so it says turn it on. Okay, there we go. Little light blinking on the front. Connect to Tello from your device's Wi-Fi network. Wow, and then as soon as as soon as I connected, it went straight to this beginner guide. Cool. So teaches you how to drive. Good. Good. Tells you some stuff. Good. Flight modes. Good. Uh, throw and go. Throw it and it will take off and hover in place. That's fun. Uh, flips. That's another fun little thing about this drone. Um, up, up, and away, 360, that all sounds fun. Prop guards, we don't need no prop guards, but it does come with them. Uh, that's something I took out of there because I just don't have them on. Um, installing propellers, detaching propellers, good. So it gives you a little crash course. And then look, I'm already connected. We're already, we're good to go right now, immediately. So I will say right now it's connected to my phone and we're gonna show you outside. It doesn't really have the best range, but it's good for just quick flights in the house. Um, anything other than that, you're really always gonna wanna use the extender. So let's see. Uh, keep using cellular data because it's not gonna get any from Wi-Fi because we're connected to that. So if your phone asks you, keep using cellular data, of course. I think it's pretty obvious here that I just hit this up button and it will take off and let's pull it away from the camera a little bit and I'm just gonna um, how about this I will take off and let me make sure I'm recording what's on the tello so you can see it's not the best camera in the world but let's walk out and see if we can come in and land it and uh, make an intro for the video yeah that'd be cool alright so <clears throat> I'm gonna press this button to record even though I should be screen recording, I think, right? Maybe that just took a picture. I don't know. Let's just fly, baby. Slide to take off. Whoa, okay. Good. Totally, totally stable. Um, video even looks great. So, yeah. 
This looks like it's going to be easy to fly. Oh, that's really responsive. Not a bad little drone for 150 bucks. That was pretty cool. And it can take a crash. Yeah, that's the Tello drone. Uh, if you're looking for a little indoor flyer, I think this is it. I don't know if it really gets much better for the price point. So, <clears throat> that thing flies very easily. It takes a little getting used to the touch screen, as you can see. I kind of biffed it a little bit into the wall, but... I'm just getting used to it. It's so light, it doesn't even hurt itself. It just falls down and you pick it up and go again. It does pretty good in the wind. I got tons of footage. We're going to weave throughout this video and show you guys. Um, it's a really great little drone for 150 bucks if you're just looking at getting into it. And like I said, I would recommend at least getting the range extender and I would go for two more batteries. I think... I think it's like a $30 difference. I think you can get it for around $120 um, without the batteries. And I know that if you look around, you can even get a lot of cool customization for it. You can get some that even come in different colors and things like that. Um, but the second thing that I just wanted to go over with you guys really quick is connecting to this range extender. So let me go ahead and get back into that really quick. So all you're going to do is you're going to plug the range extender into your power source and it has a little light on the back side of it right there no yeah you can see the little light just kind of flickering right there um so then what you have to do is you have to connect to it from your phone okay so really important step this almost made us return it and think that this whole thing was garbage when it asks where you are you have got to say mainland China or nothing works. If you put that you're in America, when you get to the next page, you won't be able to find your product or get it to sync. It's not a big deal. It's just something that you have to do. Also, when you get to this point, what I failed to realize is Tello plus signal is created. That's what you want to connect to and everything's good to go. I learned that from Ty Lopez. You gotta film this painstaking process of reconnecting the drone. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ready, tell him. This is where we see how far it can go. So I'm gonna go with it. And uh, Ben's got the signal booster, and he's gonna stay right there. It 
Feels like a hundred yards. I play no football, so I wouldn't know, but it sure feels like a hundred yards. So this is a long ways because the other thing you can do is, since he's running off of the signal booster, he could put the signal booster out a ways and have that be between him and the drone instead of having it in his pocket. Well, I'm right under it. It's still going pretty steady. We are way out. This is, this is feeling like 200 yards. Can you guys still see Ben? He is way back there. And this little tello is still going. Oh my goodness. Is that it? So. Oh, it's still going forward. Oh my God, look, Ben is so far back. It's okay, it probably did disconnect. So, that's pretty far. I, I don't even, that's a lot further than I expected. That's the DJ Tello with the signal booster. It made it all the way to here from where Ben is standing all the way down by that third sign in the middle. I don't know, that's probably at least 200, maybe even 300 yards. We're gonna have to look it up on a map. But uh, very impressive. Here he comes again. Oh, is he gonna go further? I think that's about it, but that's really far. With no booster. That's max range. That's it? Yep. What's up? All right, so ah, thorns everywhere. All right, so let's see. It just disconnected where it's at. All right, so Ben said it just disconnected. It didn't even get to the first sign. Not very far at all, probably. Maybe almost a football field, like almost 100 yards. And look, he's having to walk up to reconnect because the drone just stuck here and it's just floating where it disconnected right above us. Where's that right there? So, cool. As soon as he got close enough, it reconnected and he could fly it away, but that's what happens with these. So you gotta be careful if you're going up because then you're gonna be waiting for it to come down and hopefully you are where it is. But yeah, so not very good at all without the range extender. And then the final thing we're gonna check is how far away can your phone be from the signal booster to get even more range? You're gonna walk. See, I knew he wanted to be in it. So we're trying to see now how far you can be away from this thing because if you're flying in a big field like this, you could just go set this in the middle of the field and then have even more range. So let's see, how far away is he? I don't know if you guys can see him, but he's like right there over my shoulder. All right, so we're at the max range of the extender, probably about 150 feet, and here he goes over my head. So, yeah, that's a way to get a lot of extra range. This, 
Uh, 150 feet feels like about what it is, but it might even be further. But he's going really far now. So he should be able to go the full distance from where I'm standing since I have the booster. He's just a little dot already. That's impressive. This is <laughs> really far because now he's way over there and the drone's way out there. I mean, that's got to be about, I don't even know, half a mile? It's got to be at least like half a mile. That's pretty crazy for a Wi-Fi powered <laughs> drone with a little signal booster yeah he's still moving around I can see him coming back right now he made it way out there wow and here he comes back so yeah that's the way to do it connect to this thing and then walk it out to you know the middle of the flight field look look at I'm standing here and look how far away Ben is. Let me put this in my pocket. You can just stick it in your pocket. It doesn't have to be anywhere fancy. He's all the way over there. So you get this much extra range just by setting the signal booster, you know, maybe in the middle of your flight field. So, the drone is connecting to the signal booster, the signal booster is connecting to the phone. So right now the drone's got the strongest signal being by me. Thank you all so much for watching and if you haven't already subscribed please do that and hit the notification bell. I know I'm asking for a lot. If you haven't watched my 1000 subscriber video yet, definitely check it out. I actually hike up this mountain right here in front of us. And no, this isn't quite tele footage. This is left over from the Mavic. But thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Just ready for them photos I see a lot of things on my mind Yeah, yeah, yeah Stacking money like three, six,